All right, let's create a path around this leaf. So I'm going to grab my pen tool. I am going to zoom in quite close. Hold my space bar down so I can get to the end of it. And you'll notice that this is where we start. So I'm going to click right there. And go around the edge. Hold my Option key down and go up a little further. Need to hold my Option key down and pull that in so it fits that curve. Hold my Option and click. Okay, now we're going to close it off. And I'm going to go over into the Paths menu and name that leaf so we don't lose it. All right, so if we want to mask that, this has to be, the leaf has to be white and the other gray. So I'm going to come up in here and change that to intersect shape. All right. So now, in order to make that into a vector mask, I hold down my Command key. And you'll notice that when I hover over the mask. It'll say add a mask. If I hold down my command key and click, it will change it into a, into a vector mask. So if I go back to my layers now, you'll notice that I have a vector mask. If I do a new layer underneath and change it to, uh, let's go default colors, D, and option delete to fill it. Now I can I can go back in and I can look and see where I messed up and if I have my my direct selection tool I can I can click on the mask whoops and zoom in close I have to hit the right key there and I can click on a I can click on a point and use my arrow keys or use my pin tools to to pull that back into back into shape so I can click on that one for example and pull it in just a touch and I can click on that one and and pull it in uh, here where I've got a little bit of white I can click on that one and and bring each of those back in to perfect that that mask So that's the advantage of, of a vector mask, is that you can keep using those pin tools to edit any mistakes that you may have made. And since a vector mask is 
is is resolution independent it means that when I print that there's no jagged edges to it so that's that's a vector mask